And just over three miles away, the now familiar blinding flash. What is going on, boys and girls of the internet, you majestic creatures? It is your boy, Check It Bucket the Wolf 7. I hope you are all doing well today. And as you can see, we are back at Stormworks. This is version 1.2.164 bit, and that means it is the nuclear and steam power update. So we have coal, we have steam now. Uh, I'm focusing on nuclear power today, trying to figure out how this uh, this example works. Uh, I'm still working on it. I literally just got my hands on it. Um, we're going to see about using it in this boat here. Uh, this is my uh, yard number 32 prototype. Uh, I've been using it as a bench test uh, platform for various things. Uh, as you can see, we have... Uh, a modular engine in here right now uh, it does okay uh, I can't run this thing at full power because it just I unless I want the engine to run like 30 uh, RPS it's not gonna work out very well well it's more it's not like 30 it's like if I get up to like 15 16 I can run everything at full power and it'll make some speed but uh, we're gonna try to see if I can get away with uh, converting my ship over to nuclear at some point but, but first we have to figure out how this whole thing works so to dive in we have to uh, get cracking on with this so first of all you have these components right here you have a nuclear control rod fuel assembly and uh, well you got control rod fuel assembly and fuel rod make sure I say that right and that is also all part of the um, steam category uh, most of this of course is going to be for uh, like fireboxes the funnels hoppers uh, this stuff right here for the most part is going to pertain to burning coal but it also applies to steam uh, now this is very early into this update so we don't know if, if there's any hot fixes yet but uh, what we got to figure out is how to make all this into that and to make power so basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at this. Uh, you can get, anybody can get this. It is in the presets. So there's the firebox example, the modular engine medium example, the uh, reactor example, etc., etc. You guys all know about this by now, I'm sure. So we're going to take a look at each individual part here. I love the glow stick thing. I really, really hope this all works like this. Um, I put a throttle here because apparently you can uh, you're supposed to manually slide the rods down, which sounds dangerous because that that's how a lot of disasters have happened in the past. So this could be funny, um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything here. Uh, if I can get something to tell me what I'm looking at, not that. Actually, you know what? No, this will work fine. All right, so uh, we're gonna color we're gonna color everything uh, that we know for a fact what it is. Uh, well, generators we know about, batteries we know about, the constant on signal just to go to the pumps. This is going uh, to cycle through, so water goes in, it will be heated up by the fuel rods, control rods will slow that reaction down, of course, and then it turns to steam, which, if I'm not mistaken, where is your line? Your line? Where is that line? That's the fuel port. Okay, there we go. So the water comes in, it gets superheated inside this thing. It should be inside of a pressure vessel, but it isn't for some reason. Uh, I'm a stickler. But it'll go in, gets heated up by the reactor. It goes through here into a, um, I believe this is a uh, boiler. Yes, it goes into the boiler. So this right here, we'll color code red to emphasize that it gets hot as hell. Um, it then goes into our turbine, which at this point you can call that the source of power, so like your jet turbine, etc., etc. And then it will go into your generator, which will turn and you generate power. And at that point, you have this. We're going to color code this. We'll say this one's orange. So now we'll go hot, hot, hot water. It has been done its usable work. So now it will go up here. Now that it's a little bit less hot, it goes through here, 
into, if I'm not mistaken, this should be a condenser. It is. All right, so it condenses this back down. Still not, still not cold, but we're gonna paint it green. Uh, it is now cooler. And then, as it does such, it gets condensed back down into its natural fluid type, which should indicate, as it goes through here, yes. All right, it gets condensed and it goes back into the boiler. And then if you just have this, it's not gonna cool it down. So to continue with that, you have to have these pumps here in and out. I guarantee you that this is the, the coolant B side. Yep, all right. So in that case, let's go ahead and double check this. So it will go in, huh, interesting. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. The devs didn't uh, see that one, I guess. All right. So, now it will go through here. It will go through the condenser. Um, whichever way you prefer at this point. We'll just say, um, if I'm not mistaken, that is the out. Because this is coolant A, so this should be coming. Yep. All right. So at this point, you're gonna have the uh, coolant from uh, the co the condenser's coolant, which at this point is gonna be going in like that, like that, like that, and just orbiting around. So we're gonna go ahead and say that this is the hot side, and it's gonna go through here, like that. Goes all the way through. Ideal world, it'd go through the entire circuit first, and then go through. So if everything is done correctly, it should look something, yes. Okay, so realistically, the only way that that would re reliably cool this thing down is given certain circumstance. But based off the example, which I'm going to build my own version, uh, probably on a live stream here pretty soon, I, I, maybe, just maybe. Uh, no, nah, I might do it live, why not? Uh, let's see so as you can see it will go through here and this is how it's supposed to work mind you like I'm not saying this is going to work because it is an example but uh, like I've, I haven't seen it generate power yet I've played around with it for a few minutes just study to see what it looked like so basically coolant goes through here this will be the coolant that you need to have and Honestly, I don't know if there's any fluid in it, so we're going to go ahead and test it to see if it does. Um, but the parts you need to know is you have your control rods, your fuel rod assemblies, and your fuel rods that go up and down. You have to have them slide in and out of their channels to actually generate power. And then you would have that generate water inside the boiler to turn it to steam. And then it would go here into your turbine, does its work, goes back to condenser. The environment cools the condenser down that's pretty simple pretty simple very a uh, very very terrifyingly simple and very terrifyingly traumatizing should something go wrong so let's go ahead and uh let me go shut my uh sickly little diesel engines that brings up another question how am i gonna fit all that into this boat i might not be able to i might have to actually build a different boat just to hold this thing uh, because that's big. Oh, there you go. It's generating base. Alright, so right now it's not generating any power at all, as you can tell. Uh, there's no steam. No steam. There's fluid. For some reason, the temperature's holding at, like, 20. Uh, water in. Condenser has nothing going on. That is hellaciously loud. Alright, let's see. So no pressure, okay. Temperatures are good, I guess. Let's see what that does. Will we start generating Oh, I can see this going bad. 
So it needs pressure. Right. So my guess is that it ha you have to wait until the coolant hits a certain temperature threshold to actually get to that that steam power. Which gives me a few ideas, actually, now that I think about it. So, this could be fun. It could be terrifying. It might be awesome. I'm not entirely sure. I am very scared. <laughs> We're also going to... Oh, it's really hot over here by that reactor. <laughs> Alright, so I've set it up to where uh, temperature definitely will affect it. So, if something goes wrong, it catches on fire. Now, when it hits 100, uh, when it hits 100 uh, Celsius, it should start boiling the water. Uh, in a real nuclear reactor, what they'll do if they're using water as the um, as the the fluid that they're using to cool it, the reactor and generate steam power, it's going to be under pressure. It's going to be like a giant pressure cooker. That's why reactors explode if they or they're, if they fail. Like uh, that's what there's pressure vessels, there's containment vessels, there's uh, containment buildings. Uh, keep in mind, I am a proponent of nuclear power. Like the odds of them failing are very low, unless somebody screwed up so bad or an act of God happens. So, honestly, as long as people like Obi aren't involved with the reactor, it should be fine. <laughs> Is what I say. It should be totally fine as long as Obi doesn't do something. I can see Komodo screwing up too. Like. Uh, I'm very interesting, interested to see what in Jersey's gonna have to say about all this stuff. I'd love to talk to him about it. Like, if you ever see this video, man, hit me up. I'd love to have a chat with you about some stuff. Maybe you could help me figure out some stuff. Also, I've borrowed a few of your microcontrollers. But, 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 we hopefully should start making power here pretty soon. I'm hoping. Because I've got those control, I've got those fuel rods pushed all the way the hell in. I wonder if pulling the rods out would help. Ah, yeah, they're helping. Maybe, maybe. I'm coming up with some ideas on how to handle this. I know a lot of the stuff I upload on the workshop is usually joke related. Because, you know, like, uh, you guys have seen things I've built. So, you know, I'm uh, when I upload something crappy, it's probably a joke. I did it in Space Engineers pretty often, too. Alright, so we're starting to get to the point where we should start generating some steam here pretty shortly. It's definitely going to be condensing in there. Come on, give me some power. I want to hear this thing when it starts generating power. It should start getting very, very loud. Because it'll start building up pressure, basically. Up oh, there we go. Up. Uh. Now, what I want to know is how long the fuel rides last. Oh! Oh my! Very nice! I don't know if you guys can hear it, but um, there is a a rumble, like not not just from the reactor uh, fuel rods and everything, but okay, it should start getting a lot more. No it, it's like a boiling event. Yeah, you can you can hear it boiling inside the boiler. It's either the condenser with the steam rushing through it or the boiler with the steam rushing out. I'm not entirely sure. But we're generating power. 
I have no idea how much power we're going to get out of this thing, but okay. And I think I just got an alert that in Jersey is going live, so definitely, definitely check him out as well because he's probably going to know a lot more about this than I do because he actually talks with the devs, which I'm jealous of, but you know, we're not going to talk about that. No. <laughs> nah. Yeah, he's been in the game a lot longer than I have, so, you know, he, he's earned that. Like, he's earned that. I'm hoping to get Senpai to notice me one of these days. That'd be fantastic. Alright, so... That's pretty much how it goes, guys. Like, uh... I'm gonna have to study this a little bit in detail here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out some stuff. I want to figure out how to make this stuff uh, work pretty well as far as I can. I want to make it work good enough for my needs anyway. Like, uh, my goal is I'm going to try to get as much power out of this kind of setup as I can. I'm going to try to make it compact. I'm going to try to make it do all these things to make it uh, work out great. But I'm definitely going to go check out NJ's, uh, in, in Jersey's video, uh, which should be premiering right about now. Uh, I think so. So yeah, go check that out. Um, it's gonna, it's already been uh, uploaded or whatever by the time this one gets uh, uploaded, but I'm uploading this one immediately. Um, so far, so good. This is how the reactors are built to work. And uh, we're gonna try to build our own here pretty soon. So uh, if you wanna see that happen, you wanna see me try to fit it inside this boat here, which don't pay any attention to these things. These things were here more for studying purposes, but they might actually get implemented into this. I don't know. So if you want to see that, be sure to uh, leave a like below and a hit a subscription button, click the little notification bell, all that kind of stuff. And um, if you want to see me um, blow things up and die horribly, yeah, leave a comment saying you go and die or something. I don't know. Uh, stop me on uh, Twitch. Would that be one of my little stalkers over there? Um, and as always, take care of yourselves, the ones you love, wash your hands, wear a mask, and uh, stay the hell home if you don't have to go nowhere. Until then, this is your boy Chuck signing out. Bye. Yeah. yeah.